Hey everyone, uh, this is Duran here. Duran Medine, which you can see right there on my computer. I'm right now using Windows XP on this old Dell you see here to show you how much good use I can get with 256 megabytes of RAM and a Pentium 3 system. You see it's a Pentium 3, but the stick, when I was cleaning the computer one time, you can't see it that well because it kind of wipes some of the paint off the Pentium 3 sticker, but but anyways, I could take, show you some of the info, this processor and system properties. Hold on, me press Windows logo pause break here to pull up system properties instead of going through my computer. As you see, I'm running Firefox. Yep. Windows XP Service Pack 3 here. And I did a little uh, adjusting. As you see, I'm running the computer with 500 megahertz, but it says 498. I kind of pretty much I turned all of the visual effects off. I just left two of them right here. These two. Use background image for each folder type and use common task in folders. Those are the only two I left enabled. And I had to disable indexing. And I made these title bars solid. I had to add, go to color one and add this color so that they can all be solid to find the exact colors so they don't use memory. That way, you can see there's, a, there's no background for sure because turn, if you turn the wallpaper off, you'll use less memory that way. Even using Windows Classic helps. You can see it looks more kind of like 256. And as you can see, I turned off clear type, which gives it a boost for memory. Yeah, and there's my nice cold sprite. I'm going to drink. I'm going to put this cup right there. And you can see my wireless router is hooked up. And I get better use with it. Let's say we can go to... Let me think of some website. Let's say we want to go... We'll pull up Google. Right quick. That's the home page. You can see it loads pretty fine. Let's type in Windows Media Player 9 and yes I do have Windows Live Essentials 2009 and I got a vast 6 which you can see the little A spinning on the quick launch I didn't want that and I have the keyboard right here and as you see I got the gateway running I decided to boot it up. It's been a while since I booted it. I booted it up yesterday. Yeah, and you can see I use Firefox because it loads pretty faster. Internet Explorer runs the same on this. You can tell it's trying to load up all the pictures. It can handle YouTube, but the only problem is it's kind of skippy with videos. It takes a while for them to play. Like the, as you see, I'm on YouTube logged in. There's a lot of videos in my subscriptions for me to watch. Now I'm using Firefox 3.6.16. You know, Firefox 3.6.15. And I don't really store nothing on this computer, even though it's using a 20 gig hard drive. This is how good internet use is right now with XP on these older systems. I just wanted to show you a little good way.
how XP could load. And I'm going to go to my main page here. Should come up in a bit. It doesn't run that n bad whenever I use the internet on this computer. I use it sometimes. Or my laptop. You could tell it could tell it goes a little slow. See the it's loading right there at the bottom. You could say it's pretty much moving a little slow. But it doesn't run that slow. It runs okay. Even if you do a lot of adjust modifying on Windows XP here. Like turning off some of the visual, most of the visual effects and switching it to Windows Classic ma makes a big help. Now I found out if you turn the wallpaper off you get better performance that way. See. Watch. See if we can get display properties open up in a... I got a little hourglass. So I can get everything with no problem. It just take like a little few seconds though. Turn the screensaver off because I'm not. It's not like we're going to be using the screensaver here. And yes, I do use Sea Cleaner to clean all the unwanted stuff in the registry and all in the system. Watch. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that. You can see it's trying to pick up all the files on the system that's stored, like all your browsing history from Office. And I'm going to go ahead and run the cleaner to give it a boost. See, I can go to one window to another. It doesn't r really run extremely slow like it would. And you could well, once you clean the registry, it makes it more faster a little bit when you clean you see cleaner. And if you defrag it, you wouldn't have no issues, no problem. It'll run just good. As you can see, it's trying to find what's all in the registry. Yeah, it's picking everything. Gonna pick up some stuff. See it, that little bar going and it's trying to count. Yeah. And as you see, it makes a little lag. Whenever the whenever I'm going to my YouTube, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out on here because I'm gonna upload this on the laptop. So it won't use all my memory. And you know you can get like 10 to 15 megabytes by using Windows Classic. You'll gain a little bit of memory, and it tells you right there too. See, 256 megabytes of RAM, my Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. Oh, one thing in the registry we can go. And I got my speakers back. And those little bitty speakers are hooked up. Fix issue. Well, I just wanted to let you know I got how good my, my Windows XP computer runs on. 256 and how it handles wireless internet. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let you guys go. See ya.